Okay, so I'm going to walk you through how to make stickers. It's really easy. Um, first, I want to show you, let me make this, um, enlarge it a little bit so you can see it better. These three, you can see that there is like a shadow behind it. It's like a white shadow. Um, that is called an offset. It has an offset. It's like a border. You could think of it like a border. And so these are already set up to print as stickers. So these I thought were so cute and I want to turn them into stickers. So I'm going to show you something. Okay, so if you hit offset, I, I like the, the size that it is now. I think it's perfect and that's just a default. But if I didn't, I can make it bigger or smaller. Actually, that's, I said that backwards, bigger <laughs> or smaller. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it at the 2.5 and then I'm going to hit apply. And it defaulted for some reason to black. Um, in the past, I don't think it's done that, so I don't know why it's doing that. But anyway, um, I'm going to change it to white. So here, if you, if you separate this, okay, you can see that this is a solid in the back. So that's perfect in this um, particular sticker. So let's go ahead and hit attach. So we want to attach those two. And let me show you another one, this one. So let's go ahead and click on offset. Now we're going to um, change the color. And then let me show you this one. If you pull this out, and let me ch actually change the color back to black so you can see. You can see that this has like the little cuts in here. So if I wanted the sticker to have those cuts, I would just leave it that way. But I don't want it to have that. So I'm going to remove this. And I'm going to select this. You would want to hit contour, but as you can see that it's shaded out so you can't. And we are doing a print and cut. So I'm going to change this to a cut. And then that opens contour. And I'm going to select contour. And I'm going to hide this, this, and this. And then close it. So now it's a solid. And then I'm going to change it to white. And bring this back over here. And if you have, if you're not sure if it's centered or anything like that, you can select it and hit um, align and then hit center just to make it perfect. And then I'm going to select attach and then flatten. And that changes, changes it back to a print and cut. And then I want to do the same for this one. And I want to show you just a, something else that you can do. Um, we'll want to select offset and apply and slide this over. Okay. And then we remember contour is shaded out so we can't contour it. So I'm going to go up here and change the opera operation to basic cut. Then it opens contour. I'm going to close this. And there's no save or anything down here. You just have to exit out, change it to white, and drag this over. And then just to make sure it's perfect, we'll hit align, center, and attach. And then this is what I'm going to do for this one. I'm going to insert a text. Just type in Santa. And then I'm going to select up here and type in Saint. And it's not up here. It's not in the Cricut one. So let me hit system. Here it is. Okay. So I'm going to select that. And I thought that was cute. And I'm going to change that to black. And I'm going to select it again and attach it. Because if you don't attach it, uh, group it like all together, which I just hit attach, then, um, you know, the S may be there and an A here. And it, it would just be out of order. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this up here and make it a little bit smaller. Okay, so I'm going to hit text again. Okay, so then I'm going to write the name. And let's just make this a little bit smaller. And I'm going to attach. And I am going to drag this over and I can put it like right here. Okay, so now I'm going to select it and hit flatten. And that's it. So now we are going to go ahead and print these as stickers. And I'm going to walk you through that. Okay. Now we are ready to hit make it. Now we're going to select continue 
And the first thing we need to do is send this to the printer. So um, before I do that, I always like to go into my printer. So I'm going to type in printer and select printer. And I'm going to print it to my color. And I want, we have it just on like regular normal ink, but I want it to look really nice. So I'm going to change um, the preference, printing preferences. And I'm going to select this and change this to inkjet paper. And then um, I'm going to change it, actually it defaulted to high, which is perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply. And with that high, it's just gonna do the best bold color. And we're gonna hit okay, so it does that. Let's go back to Cricut and I'm going to hit uh, send to printer. So we're gonna leave the bleed on and all that bleed does is just help you have a better cut and that's so i'm going to go ahead and leave that on and before i hit print i need to run and put the sticker paper in the printer now i'm going to select printable sticker paper and let me just click here really quick because i think there is a printable vinyl sticker so let me just double check printable vinyl yeah there is so i'm going to go ahead and do printable vinyl instead and i'm going to select that and then hit done and if you're just using printable um, paper then you would just select the printable paper first this is the paper that i'm using the printable vinyl okay so here is the paper that i printed okay this feels more like a backing and this feels more like um maybe like paper vinyl. So that's how you can tell the difference. And if you can't tell the difference from that, then let me show you sometimes what I do. I cheat a little bit. I will, let's see, take, sometimes I will just go ahead and put a little thing in the here in the little corner just to see what side the sticker is, okay? So I know this is the backing and this is the front. So sometimes I have to do that because I have done it backwards before. So. That's how you can tell the difference. Now, I'm going to place it on the mat, and you have to place it on the mat exactly as you see it on Cricut Design Space. And another thing is when you take it off the printer, before I would touch it, I would wait a little bit because the ink may or may not be dry and you don't want it to smear. So, and I'm just gonna use a brayer, make sure that it sticks well. Now, we're gonna go ahead and place it on the Cricut and I'm going to hit the flashing arrow okay now we're ready to hit the play button the go button the flashing button okay so this got a little stuck okay so I am going to use this sticker so I'm just going to kind of pull it up like this and that's it just pull it up And I'm gonna place it on the gift and let's just see where I can put it, like maybe like right here over the mesh. What do you guys think? I think it's different, it's creative and it's from Santa. So I think it's so cute, you guys. And then the rest of the stickers are the same. You just peel them up and that's it. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial today. And if so, Leave a comment below, let me know, and as always, thanks for watching. And if you're not already a subscriber and you think this channel is for you, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. Bye, you guys. See you in the next video.